Hey everybody, name's Bruce. Been making crypto videos for a while now and I wanted to just have a little impromptu discussion with you all about what the future holds for Bitcoin, specifically institutionally. Ever since Bitcoin was created in the early 2010s, Bitcoin has been known as the currency of the drug dealers, the currency of the, uh, the tax defrauders. However, that's not the story anymore. The network growth of Bitcoin is immense. There, there's no denying that. ETFs were launched on January 11th, and since then, record ETF inflows. I mean, record breaking. You can follow Nate Garachi on X. He presents a lot of research about how this is a record breaking moment for all these Bitcoin ETFs. There's record inflows. Now, I wanted to discuss because there is a little bit of institutional hold beginning to occur with Bitcoin. Now, we can look at the amount of Bitcoin wallets that are active right now. We can look at the size of the accounts of the Bitcoin holders, how long people have been holding Bitcoin. We can also look from an institutional perspective of Bitcoin becoming an established financial asset. Now you always hear, whenever you go to, let's just say a fund, they say, hello, Mr. Bruce Bradbury. I recommend that given your age, you should be allocated 80% stocks, 20% bonds. I would say, well, I'm a young guy. I think maybe I should have a little bit of Bitcoin in my uh, exposure. Maybe 1%, maybe 2%. Legacy fund would tell me, no, 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 no. Bitcoin isn't a real asset. We're gonna allocate stocks and bonds. So I wanted to present a thought to you all. What happens with Bitcoin when these funds, such as Vanguard, who still doesn't recognize Bitcoin as a valid financial asset. What happens when these funds start recommending even a 1% allocation to everyone's financial portfolios? It's very small. Now, Bitcoin always has these wild run-ups. In 2021, it ran all the way up to 69,000, and then it plummeted to the teens from there. So it has these wild run-ups and then these wild corrections. It's very volatile, very volatile. However, now feels different. It feels a lot different. It feels safer. It feels more secure. I feel like there is more of a, an understanding for the layperson on the street of what Bitcoin is and what it can do. The price of Bitcoin, the popularity of it, just grows over time. It's like a network. It's like an organism. Some of the institutions have started to flip. Some of them have started to take it seriously. There's a little bit more governance around Bitcoin. So we're gonna to start to see legacy money and legacy funds get into the pot of Bitcoin. I'm just very excited because I was curious and let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think is gonna to happen to the price of Bitcoin when say everyone on Wall Street starts recommending just a 1% allocation to Bitcoin? Good question, good question.